Chico, California is a diverse community. It has the spectrum of conservative and liberal. The conservative because it's such an agricultural area and, um, and the university helps bring in more liberal side. And that is played out in many arenas, not just in politics, but even in our newspapers. We have, we have two newspapers here in Chico. One is the Enterprise Record. It tends to be a little more conservative. And then there's the Chico News and Review. For years, it wasn't just liberal. It was very far left in its views and opinions. It was a weekly magazine, a free uh, magazine that was uh, distributed widely throughout the city. One day, and I don't know why, they, they chose to do an article of the church I was the senior pastor of. They sent a person into the sanctuary, unknowns to us, on a Sunday morning. And then they did an article that showed up in the a magazine that week. Not the most flattering, to say the least. It was, yeah, it, it was painful. And many of our people in the congregation were rightfully upset that such a piece would be done. Some even said it was like a hit piece against the church. And, but as I was thinking and praying about this, I was reminded from the scriptures how Jesus taught us to come in the opposite spirit, to bless those that persecuted, to love our enemies. And so I remember telling our congregation on the Sunday morning after the article came out that we're not going to speak negative, we're not going to write letters to the editor complaining or any of that sort of thing. In fact, I shared with the congregation that I had written a letter to the person who wrote the article. And in that letter I said to them, I know what it's like as a leader to be criticized and for people to disagree with you. And although I don't agree with your characterization uh, of, the, uh, of our church, I'm not going to criticize. In fact, I want to give you a gift certificate for dinner for two for you and your wife. And I put it in the envelope and just kind of shared a few more thoughts and sent it off to them. And I didn't hear anything more until about two weeks after that. I got a call from the owner of the News and Review, who lived in Sacramento, asking to take me out to lunch. I might have had too that just prior to that invitation, that editor of the News and Review here in Chico had been fired. I didn't know if there was any connection at all, and I didn't, I didn't take any, I didn't revel in the fact that he was fired. I just didn't know what had happened. When this man took me to lunch, the owner of the News and Review, he profusely apologized to me for the article that was written. And frankly, he said it was sort of a last straw that the sort of irresponsible journalism he felt was coming out of the, the newspaper, that he wanted to put an end to that and told me that not only had this person been released, they were sort of cleaning house and, and they were putting new editorial staff in place. The amazing thing took place that I never thought would happen is that, that it, the newspaper shifted away from a very, very left-wing liberal to a much more moderate. In fact, some of the People on the left said they sold out. But they became very responsible uh, newspaper and did good journalism. In fact, I, I applaud some of the work that they do in the community. And the, the point is this, though. If someone had said to me, let's make it our goal to, 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 re, to move this magazine to a more responsible place and maybe what I would consider less damaging to the community and its editorializing, I would probably not know how to do that and never even think it would be possible. And yet, when we came in the opposite spirit, when we chose to do what Jesus said and applied those kingdom principles, it's amazing what took place and the shift that took place that I never thought would ever happen. We have powerful weapons the Lord has given to us, mighty to tear down strongholds. God never told us as the Christian people to make our efforts in warfare, of, of petitioning and protesting, rather coming in this opposite spirit, coming in the opposite spirit of whatever's coming against us, and watch how he works. I've seen it work. I've seen a newspaper change its philosophy and its direction when we apply what God tells us to do and obey him and love our enemies.